Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some IoT projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 13. To simplify home automation, the Coders Cafe team has come up with these unique, easy to place devices that can turn a regular home smart without touching the existing house wiring. All these modules consist of a microcontroller and some sensors performing a specific task. For instance, this node consists of a motion sensor that only wakes the ESP32 from deep sleep when a motion is detected. Likewise, the door sensor node incorporates a magnetic reed switch and the weather node features a BME680 sensor. The collected data from these nodes is transmitted to the gateway and can be conveniently viewed on a dashboard. Number 12. Akhtar faced issues with his 3D printer's movements multiple times when he wasn't around or wasn't watching it. As his printer didn't have Wi-Fi, he got no warning message when the printer's axis got shifted or jammed. This resulted in faulty printed parts. To solve this, he created a budget-friendly IoT device. Using a Raspberry Pi Pico and a Husky Lens AI camera recognizing axis movements, the device tracks the X, Y, and Z axes. The Pico communicates the detected movements to a Telegram bot, providing him with real-time updates and notifications of potential malfunctions related to the printer's movements. Number 11. Instead of relying on manually controlled circuit breakers, CyberLab replaced them with smart circuit breakers that provide a better way to control his home appliances through voice commands or a smartphone application. Alisa, включи отопление на среднюю мощность. As the place where he lives remains covered in snow most of the time, checking the drainage well's water level manually is not possible every day. The smart dashboard allows him to track the daily water consumption and make sure that the pump is working properly. He installed an additional switch for the hot water boiler because these breakers come with a safety feature that automatically shuts them down if the user forgets to turn them off after a set period. This ensures added safety and peace of mind. Number 10. In this project, Giovanni modified a remote control button to open and close the front door of his house. Instead of relying on a button this time, he decided to control the gate using his smartphone. He made a controller for this, but while testing, he found the signal strength was weak, so he extended the range using a second circuit. When you press a button on the app, the Wi-Fi connected smart relay in the house gets activated. This smart relay then sends a signal to the relay in the garage, prompting it to activate the garage gate remote. As a result, the gate opens. Number 9. Next on the list, we have a smart exhaust fan system powered by the ESP32 microcontroller. It uses an MQ2 gas sensor and the DHT11 humidity temperature sensor to keep track of gas levels, temperature, and humidity. All this data is seamlessly transmitted to the dynamic Blink dashboard, providing you with real-time insights. If the system detects too much gas levels, the fan turns on to clear the air and keep things safe and clean. Moreover, you can control the fan manually using the dashboard, offering personalized control based on individual needs or preferences. Altium is a PCB design software that is both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. With the new Altium 365, you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. The Octopart gives you real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Number 8. If you're tired of just getting reminders on your phone and want something cooler to track your upcoming events, then this LED progress bar is the perfect project for you. All you need are a Raspberry Pi Pico W and a colorful 5-volt addressable LED strip. As you tackle your tasks, this smart LED bar keeps you updated on how much of the workday has already sailed by. Moreover, it changes colors to match your schedule, helping you know when it's time to switch tasks. 
And guess what? When it's time to finish, the LED bar puts on a beautiful rainbow light, adding a splash of joy to your daily grind. Number 7. Next, we have a ChatGPT-based voice assistant system. Built on a custom PCB, the project requires two ESP32 modules. A proximity sensor serves as a switch and allows you to give commands upon accepting a gesture input. The voice commands are transmitted to Google Cloud, which converts them to text and then sends them to an open AI server. ChatGPT processes the query and generates a response. This text response is subsequently converted back into voice, audible through a speaker. I'm an AI digital assistant and do not have a name. Number 6. Next, we have a simple yet useful project, a circuit to monitor the temperature of your fridge. To make this project, you will need an ESP microcontroller, a temperature sensor, some resistors, capacitors, and a bit of soldering skills. The circuit runs on a 600 mAh battery and takes separate temperature readings of the fridge and freezer compartment. This data gets updated on a web server in real time. In addition to this, the page also displays the battery voltage and percentage. This feature notifies you to charge the battery before it depletes completely. Number 5. Russell has made a special beacon that lights up when he's just 10 minutes away from home to signal the perfect time for a fresh cup of tea. It consists of two models. The first sign consists of a small frame with LEDs creating a sparkling effect. The message is cut out of paper and glued to fabric using a cry-cut machine, while the spherical ball consists of a simple NeoPixel LED ring. The models can be controlled together or separately using the WLED app. But he relied on an IFTTT webhook that tracks his location, and when he is in a certain range, it lights up the beacon. Number 4. In order to remotely control his telescope's cooling system, Michael relied on a home assistant. To make it work, he put two temperature sensors in the telescope. The first one is placed inside the mirror, while the other lies outside, sensing the ambient temperature. The home assistant compares both the temperature values and, based on the difference, it then turns the cooling system on and off. The smart dashboard makes it easy to track the performance of the cooling system and make certain changes from anywhere. Number 3. Though you can unlock a door using keys, why not make it smart and control it with a smartphone? In this project, Maxime used a server motor that can open the door lock either using an HTTP request, MQTT control, or any other smart dashboard. The microcontroller is powered by an AC to DC converter that is attached to the top of the door. The lock can also be opened either using a physical push button or using keys just in case of an emergency. Number 2. Unlike other DIY weather stations that only check temperature, pressure, and humidity, Giovanni's creation goes the extra mile. His weather station not only monitors those basics, but also keeps tabs on wind speed, direction, and rainfall amount. What's even cooler is that Giovanni didn't buy any fancy gadgets, he crafted his own wind speed meter, wind direction indicator, and rain gauge right in his lab. He set them up on his roof for accurate readings. The data from the sensors can be seen on a local display LCD or a web server. So, whether you're at home or away, you can easily check the weather updates. Simple, right? Number 1. Now, let's discuss a complete DIY Mechanum Wheel Robot Car. This little wonder not only rolls around on cool wheels, but also comes with a nifty mechanical arm that can effortlessly lift light to moderate weight objects. How cool is that? To make this project, you'll need a 3D printer because the entire body of the robot is crafted from 3D printed parts. 
The wheels are driven by DC motors, giving our robot its sleek moves, while the mechanical arm is all about precision, thanks to the servo motors, boasting a whopping 4 degrees of freedom. But here's the best part. You don't need a separate controller to run this. Whip out your smartphone, open the app, and you're in command of this car. So, these were some of the interesting IoT projects that you can also try. Comment below the one you liked the most. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We will see you again in the next video. Till then, goodbye.